Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 17 and this Let's Play on the right map. I'm Andy and today we bought a little trailer. So this is a trailer where you can transport either two cows, three pigs or three sheep. So the idea is this is to, it was cheap, like two, two, two thousand or something. Uh, the idea is to have it over at our pig farm so we can bring pigs over to the slaughterhouse when we need that. We're not going to have a huge amount of pigs to bring around to drive between places so this will do for now it's a, it's a really small trailer but that's okay um oh sorry oh, that didn't go very well did it yeah, yeah i'm sorry 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 um so as i said that is to use this for our pigs we we'll need to go and sell those um 2400 or something I think it cost so it was quite cheap uh, you can find it in the store on the animals the link is in the description as always and uh, we also there's uh, some links to some mods we get pallets for uh, different stuff wheat barley I think it's barley uh, um, corn uh, also other stuff use straw and that sort of stuff but they're quite expensive so I, I won't use those but they are in the I can go into the store and show you look in the pallets you'll see barley uh, corn wheat manure straw and grass window but they're quite expensive but they do hold 4,000 liters so it might be a good thing I mean 1400 that's like one bale Look at the straw. That's kind of. I'm not going to use it for these things. But if you do need manure, that's a possibility. Um, barley, corn. I guess corn is probably. I mean, we don't grow that, so that's pretty decent. Well, actually, it's expensive. I'm not. I'm not going to use those. Let's load that there. Go and actually take a picture of it. It's, it's a pretty cool little trailer. I mean, not the. It's not the greatest trailer I've ever. But it's it's cheap and I think it's pretty cool. So I still looked around for the big mods. Um, I couldn't find the big mods where they have two thousand liters of pig food at a reasonable price. So um, I might have to use the the one from the Hof Bergman map. But I haven't decided on that, so I haven't installed that yet or activated it in the scenery. But the, there's a possibility I might have to use that. No, sorry. Um, but we'll see. Maybe next episode. Oh, I haven't decided yet. See if I find another one. I'm pretty sure there should be some mod where you can find pig food pallets somewhere. But I don't know why I can find that. Oh well. It's not that important actually. Um, so what else is going on? Not much. I'm gonna go to my parents in, in a few weeks. Or in a few a week or something. Um with the kids, the kids are really nice. They, they were like, "Oh, we're going to grandpa, and grandma's now." I said, "No, no, not yet, not yet." It's quite a distance. It takes like seven hours, six hours driving, and seven hours when you have to take a break. So around seven hours trip by car to get to my parents, way, which is down in the south southern part of Sweden. I live in the middle part, m middle. It, it sort of depends on how you define middle. And geographically, I don't live in the middle because Sweden is a very long, long, longish country. Longish, I don't know, it's not even a word. Um, but geographically, I live in the Stockholm region, the, the capital region, region of. of uh, they like to call Stockholm the capital of Scandinavia. I don't think the other countries in Scandinavia would uh, adhere to that slogan. Um, 
quite a big region actually like two million people living here which is big by Swedish standard I guess if you're from another country you go like oh, that's not a lot of people but considering this is Sweden it is quite a lot of actually yeah I'm gonna do that go go and put some straw into our trailer I don't know what happened to the course play app mod last time uh, I haven't figured out what what happened but something happened so I had to restart the whole game and now uh, I, I still had to, I mean I was gonna plan restart the game anyway because I wanted the big bad mod the trailer which I showed you um, So that's I set it up again and that's working away on our harvest. Okay, get this in there. Hopefully I can. This is one of the really good part about having a telehandler is you can do this. It's like that. Push it forward and then doesn't matter if it's a quite long distance. You can just fix that. Easily. Don't know much um hey uh this they actually need. Um It's like 7,000. We'll do one more, maybe. Two more. I don't even know how much straw they actually use. I don't know, I'll fill this up. So that's like 10,000. Should be sufficient. We'll, we'll fill it up a little bit more. Considering we might as well fill it up. Use it. It's not a problem. Hey, fair. Come on. Let's see what we got. That's fair. So will I get out of here? Yes. Because this has a really good turning radius. This does turn on in time. Har du sovit kort för er? Ja. Skönt. Sen är det bra på att klätta fast de inte brukar vara det. Nej. Vad är det, brukar de vara bra på annars då? Vadå? Är de bra på andra saker? Ja, Söla brukar bra, bra, vara bra på att simma. Men min är bra på att klätta mm. för det är min bebis. Ah, aha, då får vi se. Bra på simma. För det är klart att hon lever mycket i vatten. Vi pratar bara seals. Men hon, hon har lärt. Och, och förresten, om hon är uppe på land, hon kan ändå inte dö. Nej, hon kan ju andra. De andra är ju luftceller. Så, nej, det är klart hon 
de, 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 de kan ju inte andas under vattnet. De är inga fiskar. Så att de andas ju i vanlig luft. Det är sant. Let's see our track here is almost finished. No, it's not finished. I believe the headlands too. But it's slowly getting there. I think. <coughs> oh, yeah, good. I <coughs> yeah, just turned the, turned the plow around. I didn't know it did that. That's good. Maybe that's new from the new version of cosplay. I'm using. I'm, I think I'm using the latest one. Titta, hon har lärt sig att klättra så här bra. Titta. Jag ser. Oj. Jag ser inte så under slåret. Vänta, ska vi till förskolan då? Eh, nej. Varför? Mm. Vi behöver inte. Vill du gå till förskolan? Eller vadå? Jo, jag vill inte. Is it doing headlands mm. now? I think Eller är det lördag idag? Um, det är lördag idag, ja. Hur längtar du till förskolan? Jo, mm -hmm. då var det och jag försöker leka med dig så bara du stannar i sängen. Mm -hmm. Förlåt. Jag vill leka med dig. Mm. Jag är inte jätteintresserad av att leka med dockor och jag, men... Du kan leka med mig, dockor! Ja, leka med dig. We're having a conversation about <coughs> dolls and that she doesn't like. They don't play with her. Um, but that's, sometimes I don't have time to do that. So so maybe today. But my son said he, she, he could play with her. So that's good. Han har ju skönt sett på oss. Ja, men... Först om jag är lite kossig. Det är så kul när mina barn har det. Jag älskar dem mycket. Jag älskar dem mer än något i världen. Älskar barn att göra med sina barn. Det är som att vi behöver fixa den här. Det är så kul när barn är så här. Det är en lång väg från... I said hard. That's not probably ergonomically good way of driving. Could we do something else while we're doing this? We could actually go and we don't have money. We could get some money. Could go and get some silage base and sell those at the BGA. Or not. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do actually. Should I do something? What should I do? Uh, oh, Andrew, this is actually we used quite a lot of this, which is good. That's the point of it. Get used. How are cows doing? Could clean up this later. We'll check on our animals. Cows, they're doing good. Thirty. Don't know where the next will be reproduced. Yeah. Milk tight, pretty good, decent amount of money we'll get for that. Otherwise, it's not. It's, it's good. Wasn't clean. That clean, clean, clean. Seventy-nine percent clean cleanliness. That's okay. You can go clean that up. Until so we have something due until the tractor is done with the plowing. I did install the fill trigger thing, which it should mean that I could drop things into the trough from using this one. Not the fill trigger, it's fill something, fill plane. It's in the description anyway, the link to it. Uh, I don't think it seems to be working uh, uh, as it should. Let's go empty this. Mm. 
That didn't get, take very long, did it? Like, uh, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done. Oh, get a bit tea. I see 11,944. So, not that this is from the cows, it's not a lot, but we did a lot from the BJ anyway, so it's not a problem. So, last lap, I think. Hello, what are you doing? Loud field. It's getting done. I just need to clean up the corner, some of the corners though. As you can probably tell, this one I need to clean up up to you. See, see, it misses it quite a little lot in the corners when it turns. So that needs to be needs to be cleaned up. I think it stops over here somewhere. Uh, some stuff here too, clean up a lot, but a little bit to clean up. When it's getting there, it's a good thing. It's that's I mean that's a really good powerful tractor. I, I think that's good. We need to cultivate this field later. I don't know if we can fertilize this one more with slurry or not. Papa. Hmm? How much Hold det i toffsen på den lilla bebisen och så snurrar han den och, så, och nu i toffsen den har gått av. Ja, då får man ju laga den. Då får vi lägga honom och sy då. Uh, kids, why do they keep destroying things? I don't get why they can't be more careful. I, I guess I wasn't careful either. They don't know the answer to the question. I, they don't think things through. But as a parent and the one who actually pays the bills, it's somewhat annoying. Stop driver, yes. We will lay on another season. Sorry about that, my my son doesn't believe that we're gonna go and actually have to so that fix what he broke. But I think I'm, it's a good point, a good time to learn how to sew. Can we look a new doll? I didn't know how to spell it. I'm not sure. It is. Snart. Jag är klar när jag är klar, men du kan inte. Nu håller du på att prata så kommer det ta längre tid. Så. Get that away, and then we need to fix this corner, which is horrible. miss a slight bit there, I don't mind. Some people are probably more perfectionists. I used to be more like a perfection, not a perfectionist. I used to, because that perfectionist implies that you can't handle anything that's not 
the way it should be and I never was like that but um, I did have a tendency to make th one things to be very proper and in the right way uh, that has passed with getting kids this sort of prior prioritize things in your life in a very automatic way actually what part of an interesting discussion and since I have twins we this forum on like a page on Facebook with uh, Swedish twin parents there was a <coughs> discussion yesterday about someone who but you probably mostly wanted like a affirmation that what they did was right and she didn't exactly get that but um, and I, I wrote a comment which she deleted so yeah, guess she didn't like it about the fact that you don't get kids for your own sake you get kids for if you get kids their needs will always come first they will come before your needs and I guess that was hard to hear so she deleted everything but I stand by that you meet a lot of parents who don't do that and if you don't do that then the authorities i.e. me will get involved and will tell the parents to do that and if they don't follow what we say we they well they, they can't be parents which seems harsh but it's not about the parents it's about the kids kids need stuff and they they come first if you get kids they will their needs will come first pretty simple um, and if you don't want to be a parent well, don't be a parent I think that's kind of the same thing that a lot of people, that some people, they actually make real choices and, and decide not to have kids. I think that's good. If you don't want kids, don't get kids. It's a handful and it's it's fantastic, but it's also so much work and not putting your own needs at fir first is a big part of that. It's sort of provoking, f at least for me, when people don't do that. When they sometimes think, like, well, I'm going to just continue with my life like it was before I had kids. I was like, that's not the way it works. If you want to do that, don't have kids. I think 42 should work as a speed limit speed limit as a cruise control speed limit setting whatever you want to call it so let's go over to our pink farm where we're gonna go don't give me a fine oh, that worked uh, pink farm and give them some straw and then we need water and then we're pretty set up we'll need more food for them actually but that's a later problem I don't want to find that mod where you can have uh, what do you call it? Um, big bags. There's two speed cam cameras on this one. I think it's the one on the entry of t to town. The ro uh, yes, right is to town. So one which would pass, and then there's one if we come from the other side, uh, the western side. Where do you put this straw then for the pigs? I have to find a place to put that. It's probably self evident when I get there, but I can't remember now where that could be. So, uh, straw. Is that there? No. Where do you put this straw then? Oh, that's a gold nugget. Sorry. Where the gold nugget? I haven't looked very actively for those. Could probably do an episode where I just go around looking for gold nuggets. Because if we found them, we get rich, a little richer. 
then we could really do some serious damage. This is the wrong word. Where could you empty this draw then? Here. Okay, so how much do you so that's full? Five thousand. We can actually empty this somewhere like here. Actually, I feel probably should have to the empty it there. Hey, well, it's done. So now we need just the water and then we set and we'll okay, start reproducing. Okay, max the speed, we don't have to drive slow. Drive slower here. Because first when we get into town we need to pass the Speed cram. That's. Uh, I'm sorry. That sounded really bad. It's like I only follow the speed limits when I can get caught. I don't actually in real life. I don't do that. I actually follow the speed limits because it's quite expensive not to follow it. And I think there's probably there's a point of having a speed limit. That's because high speeds kills. Simple. They they do more damage. It's pretty easy to understand speed you and you crash you will do more damage than if you crash and don't speed and that's always some smart eyes going like well if I speed then the accident won't happen yeah well, all the accident that doesn't happen you can't really say anything about that but you can say anything something about the accidents that actually do happen they do more damage when you speed Uh, there might, in theory, be a w instances where, you, by speeding, you will avoid having an accident. But that doesn't really help the person that get, gets killed or maimed in the accident that do happen. And maybe would have managed to manage much better if you, the person they hadn't crashed or themselves if they hadn't speeded. I'm just saying. So, but I understand. I think it's funny when people go. You can see some. So sometimes you can see extremely heated discussions about peop other people doing crimes. Like I saw this one about there were some kids that threw rocks at cars that passed under a bridge uh, in my old hometown, and the, the discussion was extremely heated. It's like, oh, why don't parents keep track of their kids? Why don't do 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 do? How they know it's wrong? They shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. And my response always is, why why do people then speed? Because for some reason, speeding is a crime that a lot of people don't really see as a crime. They go like, ah, oh, no, it's not that bad, nothing happens. Well, yeah, that's true, most times nothing happens, but you can't really claim that, I mean, everyone that has a license knows you cannot speed. There's a speed limit, you have to follow it. Um, so, and that's because some of the responses was like, oh, if the parents just taught them what was right and wrong, they wouldn't do this. Well, I'm sorry, most kids, most people do know what's right and wrong. They, they chose to do the wrong thing. So why why would you do, choose to do the wrong thing? And that's the interesting question, not that you do it. Uh, and then again, my, my comeback is always, uh, why do people speed? Because everyone that has a license know you can't speed. It's not allowed so why and then there's lots of people have lots of cognitive um explanations of what why reasoning why they do things so and if you talk to someone that speeds you'll have a ton of stuff why they're speeding you know it's not so bad it's not dangerous i know what i'm doing i can drive better than most people and so on so you have and that's the same with crime people that do crime do you know where it's wrong they just have a lot of cognitive reasoning why they have to do it. I have an, uh, I'm addicted 
I addicted. I need my medicine. I need my, need my drugs, which are my medicine. Otherwise, I'll feel really bad. And it's not so bad. I didn't hurt anyone, and so on, and so on, and so on. So, um, a lot of cognitive reasoning going on. Um, when s when people commit crimes, which you tend to forget when it, you when you talk about other people doing st st things that are wrong, you go like, oh, they must stop. They should stop. Why are they doing this? And so on. And I think it's not that simple. So now I have water. Can take this tree actually and go and give the water to you. Oh, what's on its way? Should probably go and give it to the boost place. I was like, uh, I'm not gonna make this turn. I was like, uh, maybe I'll do. I'll still continue. Yeah, I won't break. I'll just continue. Maybe I'll make the turn, but of course I didn't. We need to refill this. Actually, we need to put some um, gas into the truck. The uh, truck into our tractor. I think. Might as well do that since we're passing by was sort of passing by our fuel station, fuel stop over here. Probably cost a little bit more money than we have. It's going down fast. It does, I mean, this is a powerful tractor, but it does use a lot of fuel too. Which is high, I mean, that's the way it is. Oh, no. Uh, actually, I'm gonna think I'm gonna stop the episode here. Um, so, I want to thank you for watching. This has been the Let's Play on the Royalty Map. I'm Andy. And if you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this episode, please hit the like button, leave a comment or share. And have a great day, everyone. Take care. Bye bye.